All right, everyone. This is Nani Shiki, <clears throat> and this is another porch tutorial. This is a porch tutorial for life bar portraits, and this is going to be pretty goddamn easy and pretty goddamn quick. So, the first thing we're going to need to use is we're going to need to get a cigarette, and we're going to need to light that cigarette. All right. Now that we're ready, first thing we're going to need to do. I'm going to need to open up Photoshop. I'm going to need to open up the template. It's just a PNG. You just drag it and open it up. And you're going to need a portrait to make the portrait, make the light bar portrait out of. Now, I would suggest you use a simplistic image, something that's very easy to render out. And we're going to do some quick rendering here. We're going to take the magic wand tool. I'm going to set the tolerance to 30. And I'm going to keep the contiguous on this time. And we're going to erase and select and erase the white. And we're going to get more white. And we're going to erase the right and get more white. And erase the white. And get more white. And erase the white. It's a lot of white hating going on here. And then we're going to do select, deselect. Now this is going to be a little overhaul when it comes to rendering images. So we're going to make a new layer. I'm going to put that layer underneath the pre-existing one. And we're going to take the color black. And we're going to fill it in. But bam. Next, what we're going to do is going to go back to the first layer. I'm going to right click, blending options. Then we're going to do inner glow. I'm going to take the blend mode, I'm going to set it to normal. I'm going to take the opacity, put it to 100%. I'm going to take the color, I'm going to set that color to black. I'm going to take the size over here, I'm going to set that to 3. I'm going to take the choke, and we're going to move it up until we notice a difference. I just did. Now, hit OK. Drag your cigarette, which seems to be boating on me. Next, what we do is we take this image and we save it. And we save it as a BMP. What we're going to call this is we're going to call this the Ryu Bar. Right? Okay, it's all saved. You hit OK. Next, we're going to use a program that's called Suzy. Suzy is an extractor for visual novels, but it's also great for resizing because if you take this image and you paste it on here as it is right now, and you you know remove the black background and everything, and you start resizing it, it's going to try and gradient into the green and purple colors. And then when you copy it and paste it again, that gradient is going to remain there. So you're going to have green and purple all over the goddamn place and we don't want that so we need some other way of resizing it safely so we're gonna use a little program I like to call Suzy so we take Suzy and it's gonna have a little bar right here I'm gonna hit the very first icon up on top and we're gonna look for the image we just saved the Ryu BMP it's gonna probably be friggin huge I was right we open it but now we take to the side here and we resize the window. Now the great thing about Suzy and using it with Photoshop is you can actually see how big the portrait is going to be and you can line it up accordingly. So that's still too big. So I'm going to do something along the lines of this. After it's resized, you hit Alt, you hit Print Screen, you go to File, New. OK, Edit, Paste. We take our magic wand tool, we're going to set the tolerance back to 1. We're going to remove the contiguous, and we're going to select the black, and then we're going to erase it. And then we're going to take our normal select tool, and we're going to select what in the image is going to be used. You don't need to select the whole thing, just, you know, where the action is, where the good stuff is, the meat and potatoes. So, we got that copied. I'm going to go back to the template. I'm going to edit, paste, and then I'm going to flip this because it's facing the wrong way. Transform, flip horizontally. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take the fill right here and we're going to move that down so we can see exactly what we're working with. After the fill is down, take the move tool and move him into place. That's good. That's nice. Next is you're going to select layer zero. You're going to take the magic wand tool again and you're going to select the purple. You're going to go back to Ryu and you're going to hit delete which is going to erase and clip the image to exact size. Next is select all, edit copy, file new, OK, edit paste. 
Next thing, you take the select tool again, the magic wand tool, and you select the clear, the background, you go to image, you go to mode, you go to index color. All right, uh, palette, local selective, colors 255, force none, okay. Image, mode, color table, take the final color on the list, set it to OOFFOO, hit okay. Take the color we're going to use and set it to OOFFOO. All right. Then we're going to take the paint bucket tool and we're going to fill that in. We're going to file, save as, and I'm going to call this the Ryu bar. I'm going to save it as a PCX. Okay, that's done. Next is you're going to take Fighter Factory. You're going to open up the character you want to add it to, and FYI, what you're doing when you add the regular icon to select screen is all you're doing is replacing the current ones, which is 9000 zero is the icon, 9001 is the select screen portrait. So now when it comes to adding the life bar, you want to go all the way to the end of the list, and you want to hit this, which is add. We're going to wait till it loads, and I'm going to get smoke in my eye, and it's going to be painful. All right, it's open, so now we set the group to 9,000. Oh, my eyes are tearing. And we set the image to 5, and we go and find that image we get just made, which was the Ryu bar. Here it is right here. Take the access, make sure the access is set to 0, 0. Okay. Now right here we have Ryu as you can see and he has no life bar. I'm going to do sprites save. Alt F4. And look at that. He has a life bar portrait. Well, thank you everyone for viewing. I hope this helps out. Enjoy the Tight Moon Unlimited life bars and I bid you adieu.